So now we have a work cut out for us. We've moved to random locations. Again, I'll show you that. I made a much less hideous color right here. And then it moves around. That delay is way too long. I'm gonna crank that delay back down, the initial one. And then we'll uncomment this last little bit. So this delay times 50 is crazy. I think delay times 10 is plenty before it moves randomly. <clears throat> All right. So at this point, I'm not gonna move this down anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. This is the matching one that I'm gonna delete as well. And let's see, where do we go? All right, so here, if your get speed's not working, you're gonna see an error and you have to write your get speed method. <clears throat> Again, all you're gonna do is just return the speed. It's just like the get X or the get Y. And it needs to work because you're gonna do it right here. All right, this get instances, you've seen this before. It'll be false when, well, it'll be zero when you close the window. So as long as it's greater than zero, it's gonna keep running. All right, so we're gonna do a few things in here. So it's gonna print out the delay and then it's gonna call test piece. Uh, now, right now, test piece does nothing. So we're gonna need to change that. What it then does, it divides the speed by two. So it cuts the speed in half. It cuts the delay into a third and then it sets the speed. We don't need to set the delay because the delay when we look inside test piece, you'll see. So we're gonna go control B to navigate there, right click navigate, go to declaration, control B. We had commented all this out before. And I don't wanna uncomment the whole thing. Well, first of all, we have a teleport method we gotta work at on first and then We'll do the rest. All right, so teleport, zero, zero. There's no teleport method. So create method teleport. What does teleport do? It changes the X and the Y coordinate. Now, you do need to make sure they're valid X's and valid Y's. I'm not gonna show you how to write teleport, but I will give you some, well, first of all, I should go right here and create method. My advice to you is you already have a way to make sure the X coordinate is not too small or too big and you already have a way to check if the Y coordinate is not too small or too big. And I strongly recommend inside teleport that you call the, your own get X and then call your own get Y. And that way, if X or Y is invalid, either negative or too big, you won't need to rewrite the if statements and the print statements. They're already in, get X, uh, in set X and set Y. So that's how you're gonna do teleport.